The Mystery of the Missing Sphinx Hello Science Tellers! Welcome to Science Deli, where we tell you amazing stories about science and history. Today, we are going to talk about a fascinating discovery that has puzzled archaeologists for years, the Second Sphinx. You have probably heard of the Great Sphinx of Giza, the colossal statue of a lion with a human head that guards the pyramids of Egypt. It is one of the oldest and largest monuments in the world, dating back to around 2500 BC. But did you know that there is another Sphinx, much smaller and much younger, that was found in Israel? That is right, in 2013, a team of archaeologists from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem uncovered the legs of a 4,000-year-old Sphinx at the ancient city of Hazor. The Sphinx is made of granite and has hieroglyphic inscriptions on its base that identify it as belonging to King Mycerinus, the same pharaoh who built the Third Pyramid of Giza and the smaller Sphinx next to it. But here is the catch. The legs are the only part of the Sphinx that have been found so far. The rest of the statue is missing, and no one knows where it is or what happened to it. How did the Sphinx end up in Israel, thousands of kilometers away from Egypt? Why was it broken into pieces and scattered? And where are the other parts of the statue? These are the questions that have baffled the experts for almost a decade. There are some theories, but none of them are conclusive. One possibility is that the Sphinx was a gift from Mycerinus to the king of Hazor, who was his ally and trading partner. Another possibility is that the Sphinx was looted by invaders who conquered Hazor and destroyed its temples and palaces. A third possibility is that the Sphinx was deliberately smashed by the Israelites, who saw it as a symbol of idolatry and oppression. Whatever the case, the Sphinx of Hazor is a rare and valuable artifact that sheds light on the ancient relations between Egypt and the Levant. It also shows us how much we still do not know about the past, and how much more there is to discover. The archaeologists who found the Sphinx hope to find more clues and pieces of the puzzle as they continue to excavate the site of Hazor, which covers 200 acres and contains layers of history from different periods and cultures. However, they estimate that it will take them 600 years to dig up the entire site, so we might have to wait a long time before we get the full picture of the mystery of the missing Sphinx. What do you think happened to the Sphinx of Hazor? Do you have any theories or ideas? Let us know in the comments below, and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Science Deli for more amazing stories like this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!